dream big, start small, work hard, work very hard. But more importantly than any of that is the dream. You need to have a big dream. I wanted to make this video because I believe, and maybe I'm wrong, but I believe it's better to have a really big dream than a little dream. When you have a big dream, it does so much for you. It gives you hope, right? That you can actually get that dream. We all need that. People need hope. Dream big. What do I mean by a big dream? Well, by a big dream, some people would define that as saying, hey, you should have unrealistic expectations. So a person from a negative connotation or from a realistic point of view might say, you should have realistic goals. In fact, if you go on the internet and you look up stuff about like goals, it'll say that you should have realistic goals so that you can actually accomplish them, <laughs> right? So this is the common advice that people give, right? This is what society says. And I agree it's important to have some small goals, but I'm talking about having at least one, one, one really, really, really big goal in your life. Something you really want to do, right? And for some people, that goal is bigger than for other people. It just depends on where you are in your life and you know, what you think you can accomplish based on your resources and your abilities and where you are in life right now, right? But it's important to have that big dream, you know, big dream. And I'll just throw out some examples just to make it more concrete. If you are going to college, you know, what's, what's considered a big dream? I guess being a doctor, a lawyer, um, owning, owning a company, um, trying to think of professions, those are professions. But maybe you want to get in really good shape. Maybe that's your dream, right? Or maybe you want to live in a certain country. That's your dream. Whatever your dream is, no dream is too small. And so there's a reason it's good to have a big dream. Because when you have a big dream, it does a couple things for you, right? It gives you hope. People need hope, right? You need something to work towards. And if it's something you really want, if it's really like what you really want out of life, and if it's a really meaningful dream for you, and again, it's different for everyone, find your own dreams, right? That's, that's another video. Make it something that matters to you. Well, the reality is, it's gonna take a lot of uncomfortable, brutal work to make your dreams come true, right? You're gonna have to work hard. You're gonna have to crush it. And the only way you're gonna be able to do that is if your dream is big. Because when those situations come, when you're like, okay, I really need to focus on this mathematics, or oh, I really need to go run today, or oh, I need to watch my diet, or oh, I need to go work 10 hours today at X job that I don't like so I can, maybe you have some convoluted dream. I don't know what your dreams are, but you need something that's going to get you up off the ground. And that's that big dream. That big dream is gonna push you forward and is going to allow you to work when you don't want to work. It is going to make you disciplined. It is going to give you motivation when you don't have it, or it's going to give you the practice for you to build the discipline to be able to work when you're not motivated. You'll be able to say, I really need to study math and I don't really want to, but you will pick up that pencil and you will sit down and you will do it anyways. And once you get started, you get going, you get in the flow, you're good to go, and then you're on. You can do more math. You know, usually a lot of times it's that, it's that getting started. It's that moment where you just have to get started. That's the hardest part. By having a big dream, by having that big dream, that can help you get started, right? That can help you get started. It's much better to have a really big dream. Why don't people have big dreams? Right? Why? This is one that I don't really question too much. I don't really ask myself this question, but I thought I'm gonna sit here and make this video. Maybe I should address that, okay? So this is not something that I've actively thought about here. Um, I think, personally, for me, I can only speak for myself. I can't speak for other people. I have some theories and we'll get to those. But for me, I've always had big dreams my entire life. I've always been someone who 
has had those unrealistic expectations, right? That's some people's point of view, okay? So I feel it's a part of me, it's naturally, it's probably genetic or something, I don't know. Maybe it was learned, I don't know, but I've always had big dreams. And these dreams are unrealistic by what many people think, and they're unrelated to other events in my life or people I know. It's not like, oh, you know, XYZ studied math, so um, one of my relatives studied math, so I studied math. No, nothing like that, right? So my dreams are unrelated to my environment. So I've always had big dreams. But I think there's people who are not like me who don't have big dreams or who have not had big dreams. And so I'm asking myself, why? And I think that the answer is maybe they just don't think it's possible for some reason. They just don't think it's possible. And I, I don't know why. I could say maybe they're afraid, but maybe they're not. Maybe they just, they genuinely don't think it's possible. This is one that, again, I haven't put much thought into it, so leave a comment on this particular topic. Let me know what you think. Why do you think some people don't have big dreams? Leave a comment. Having that big dream is going to create a sense of urgency in you when you're trying to get something done, which basically means that you're not going to procrastinate, which basically means you're going to be a more effective person and you're going to be better at whatever it is you do in your life. So if you just have a big dream and you work towards it, you're gonna work harder than if you had a little dream and you work towards it because the big dream is more appealing. And you might say, well, what if I have a big dream and I never get to it, you know? What if it's unrealistic? Can I have an unrealistic dream? It's unrealistic. I mean, is that bad? What if I never achieve it? I say, so what, right? It's all about the journey. Human beings have this tendency to want things and we work really hard towards them and we get them. And oftentimes when we get them, we find that we're satisfied for a little while, but then that satisfaction wears off and then we want something else, right? And this is, it's a cycle, right? It's just how human beings are built, right? So you have these people who practice minimalism and you know that's just material things, but there's other things people want besides objects, right? So the point I'm trying to make is a lot of times we want things and again, when we get them, that satisfaction just diminishes. So it's really about the journey, the journey. And that big dream, it's gonna make it harder to get that thing. And usually because it's a big dream, when you do get it, well, oftentimes that satisfaction is gonna last a little bit longer than when you achieve those little dreams. Yeah. Have that big dream. It, it'll make a difference in anything in your life. And you can have multiple big dreams, but I think it's just really good to have like one or two really, 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 really good ones, like things you really want out of life. Like, you know, you wanna you know, get a degree, get a job, have a house, and have X, Y, Z in dollars in your bank account. Whatever it is, whatever it is you wanna do. You can you say, hey, this is what I want someday in my life. And work towards it. Small steps, dream big, start small, work hard, yeah. Dreams are free, right? <laughs> Dreams are free. The hard work is not. The hard work is not. So remember that. So yeah. So what do you think? You think it's good to have a big dream? I'm curious to see what you think. Leave a comment in the comment section below. I think it's an interesting subject, an interesting thing to talk about because I know a lot of people who don't have big dreams and I, I don't know. I, maybe they do, they just don't tell me. I don't know, but yeah. I hope it's been helpful. Oh, and if you want to learn math, uh, this is a math channel, right? Uh, check out my courses. I have math courses. Uh, they're on my, they're on Udemy, but if you get them, use the links from the description of this video. Uh, it helps me greatly and I've lowered the prices. So when you use those links, you get a low price. I have courses on algebra, calculus, uh, differential equations. And yeah, this is a math channel, uh, but I do post uh, stuff like this, uh, book reviews, just all kinds of content, but yeah. Stuff that helps people. That's it's educational, right? Hopefully this helps you. And um, by picking a big dream and by saying, hey, this is my big dream now and I'm gonna work on it. And I think, I think it'll make you feel good. It'll make you feel like you have hope and it'll make you work harder than you are working now. So all of those things are good, right? So yeah, I hope it's been helpful. Good luck to you and keep doing mathematics. <laughs>